Hello and welcome to chapter 21, part B. This is the solution for the Your Time to Code. So you'll remember that I asked you to create a series of squares instead of circles. So I'm going to keep my K loop, so it's going to draw five of them. In actual fact, I'm going to modify it a little. I'm going to make it draw ten. I didn't have to. You don't have to. I'm doing it because I want to. So down here is the bit of code that draws the circle. Now, a circle has 360 sides. Um, but I'm drawing a square, so I actually only need it to run to 4. Because there's only it can still run at 10 speed. Uh, instead of moving 1 pixel, I'm going to have it moving 150 pixels. And instead of turning 1 degree, I'm going to have it turning 90 degrees. Because that's the right angle in the corner of a square. So for any shape that you're drawing, you really need to just think, um, how long are the sides? How sharp are the turns? And a square I gave you because it's nice and easy. And then I go back and do it again for the four. And in actual fact, I reckon that's probably going to work. So what I'm going to do is just run that. There we go. As you can see, it's drawn those. Uh, now, you'll notice it hasn't gone all the way around. So we had, it's 360 degrees all the way around. So what I'm going to do is instead of, I'm turning 10 times, instead of changing 20 degrees, I'm going to change 36 degrees. And the reason I did that is because 10 turns of 36 degrees is 360 degrees. So that'll take me all the way around. So if you watch this, it's going to give me a nice pattern of all the way around. And I just like the symmetry of that. It looks a bit like the doors in Monsters, Inc. to me. And also what I'm going to do is I'm going to get that random colour. And instead of changing for every square, I'm actually going to change every side. So it moves 150, it turns. Now before it goes through the loop again, I'm going to get it to pick a different colour. So here we go. There you go. Actually, I'm not sure that I didn't like that other one more. But that's my solution. I hope that yours is something similar. And I hope that you've got a real sense of the various things that you can now do with Small Basic.